Tbra 3D Sculpt is a unique filament that allows the user to make all kinds of adjustments or changes on 3D prints after the printing process. Tbra 3D Sculpt is a temperature sensitive material that behaves like clay. But unlike clay or all existing filaments, with the advantage that it can be adjusted for approving your creation. You will be able to pick from a range of four colors. Original, black, gold and copper. If you would like to have it in a different color, don't worry, because Tebra 3D Sculpt can easily be painted with any acrylic paint. You will be able to download and check a full list of settings on the Tebra website, but we will go through some of the most important settings here. Starting with the extruder temperature, there are two different settings, depending on the substance. For Tebra 3D Sculpt with a diameter of 2.85 mm, we suggest to use from 200 to 220 degrees Celsius. In case you are printing with our 1.75 mm filament, you should stick to 190 to 210 degrees Celsius. We highly recommend to use at least 10 to 20 lines of brim to make sure that the model will stick properly on the build plate. As an adhesive, we recommend hairspray and blue tape. We have tested both with excellent results. Depending on the amount of details you like to add, you should use at least five shells. Increase them if you want to make some important changes to the external surface of the model. The same goes for the infill. Start with a minimum of 25% and increase it if you feel that your creation will need more radical changes. The build plate temperature should be at 60 degrees Celsius for the first layer. Then you will need to decrease the temperature to 45 degrees Celsius. Always make sure that your fans keep running at 100%. Tibra 3D Sculpt will not perform well with bridging. In order to be sure that your model will close properly, you will need to use a high number of top layers, at least 9 to 10. Now that we have all the settings for the printer, we can proceed to print our first model. Load the material on the printer, apply the adhesive material on your build plate, insert the SD card with the G-code inside the printer and start to print. If you have properly followed all the information that we shared before, the model that you just printed should be coming out well. After that, you can proceed to post-process your print. We invite you to check our next video, where we will focus on how you should post-process your models printed with the Tibra 3D Sculpt.